Hello everybody. Today we are going to solve some kind of questions uh, about exponentials uh, for Saint S exam. Uh, let's look at this example. When you look at this example, uh, the relation x is greater than x squared is true. Uh, for that kind of questions, uh, sometimes you can uh, try uh, the different numbers. Uh, it's up to you choose an integer numbers or another number, but you'd better choose two, uh, three different kinds of number. For instance, just try zero and uh, one and minus one. Uh, okay, so when you look at this, when you look at this, uh, as you can easily realize, for minus one uh, greater than uh, minus one square, it's not true. For zero, zero is zero. It is not also true. For one, uh, one is greater than one square. It's not also, also true, as you can easily realize. For that kind of questions, uh, x value should be here. Uh, and uh, number between zero and one. For instance, for instance, let me show you with an uh, number. For instance, one over three. Let's look at one over three. W and also the square of one over three uh, is, as you can easily realize, one over nine. So uh, the best uh, number we can choose for that kind of questions uh, x is uh, greater than zero and uh, less than one that's why option d is true for that kind of questions let me show you another question uh when you look at the uh, when you look at that question uh x is uh, exponential here so, uh, yes, uh, assume that x is uh, once again minus 1, 0, and 1. If you choose minus 1, you can easily realize that one, uh, 9 to the power minus 1 is uh, less than uh, 3 to the minus, uh, 3 to the power minus 1. Because uh, this value is 1 over 9, and this value is uh, 1 over 3. Let's use 0. When you use zero, uh, ten to uh, nine to the power zero is uh, less than three to the power zero. Is it true? Not true, because they have the same value. They are same. What about uh, one? Uh, yes, as you can easily as you can easily realize, it is not also true. So. Uh, the number we need for that question, uh, x is less than uh, zero. And uh, be careful, x is not, uh, x is never zero. x is always less than zero. That's why option A is true for this question. Let's look at another question. Uh, for that question, the inequality is satisfied by Okay, uh, you can also choose different kinds of uh, numbers uh, for x. Uh, let's uh, try minus 1, 0, and 1 again. Okay, uh, if you choose minus 1, 5 to the power minus 1 is uh, greater than 5 to the power in square root minus 1. Is it possible? Not possible. We can't see any real number like that. That's why uh negative numbers uh, is impossible for x value so uh, let's get rid of um, negative numbers let's choose uh, zero when you choose zero 10 to the power zero greater than 10 to the power no it's not possible because they are same we can't say this kind uh, we can't see any uh, inequality like this so uh, let's try to let's try to uh, that's value. Uh, and also, if you choose one, once again, as you can easily realize, if you choose one, five to the power one greater than five to the power in square root one, it is also same. So uh, even if uh, one is a positive number and greater than zero, as you can easily, as you can easily realize, it is not possible to use uh, one here. So, uh, if you use another number greater than 1, for instance, 2, let's 
use two for x. Uh, five to the power x. Uh, five to the power. So sorry, five to the power two. Um, is greater than five to the power is square root two. Is it possible? Yes, because uh, we know that two is greater than that value. So it is possible. Yes, it is possible. That's why. That's why. For each x number uh, greater than 1 is true for our uh, question, for this question. That's why option B is true. Okay, uh, let's look at another question. Uh, if n is an integer and uh, you see in an equation here, what is the value of n? Okay, n is uh, uh, n is used as an exponential uh, for that question. If you see such a question, you'd better use uh, you'd better uh, rewrite uh, this equation like this: three to the power n times three to the power two minus three to the power n times three to the power one. Uh, as you can uh, see, it is possible. So. Uh, plus uh, 3 to the power n is uh, 6 to 3. Okay, let's rewrite, uh, use uh, bracket here. So, yes, 3 to the power n. Uh, let's take it here. Then uh, 3 to the power 2 minus 3 to the power 1. And uh, rather than this 3 to the power n, we can also write 1 here, and it equals to, six to the, uh, 63. Okay, uh, let's find this calculation. Uh, 9 minus 3 plus 1. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, this is uh, 7. Okay, right now, final calculation is 3 to the power n times 7 is 63. After simplification, this is 9, and if uh, 3 to the power n is 9, n is 2, as you can see here. So option A is true for this question. Okay, uh, let's look at this question. Uh, it seems... Uh, easy, I see, but be careful. If you just focus on, if you just focus on uh, that number, it seems true, but be careful, three times that number. So you can say that uh, the solution uh, is going to be three times uh, 29, 27 to the power three. So rather than uh, 27 to the power three, we can also write it like this, three times uh, 3 to the power 3 to the power 3. So uh, right now, we can also write it as 3 times uh, 3 to the power uh, 9. As you can easily realize, our final solution is 3 to the power 10. That's why option B is true for this question. Okay, let's look at this question. Uh, when we analyze this question, it is a little bit harder than others. Uh, but let's analyze it together. Uh, okay, uh, I want to rewrite it here. Uh, 3 to the power x plus y over 6 to the power x minus y. Okay, uh, yes, uh, I rewrite it. Uh, I'm going to rewrite it like uh, 3 to the power x times 3 to the power y over. Uh, and uh, also, rather than 6, I'm going to use it like this 2 times 3 to the power x minus y. Okay, uh, finally, uh, 3 to the power x times 3 to the power y. Uh, over uh, 2 to the power x times 2 to the power minus y times uh, 3 to the power x times 3 to the power minus y. Okay, uh, let's rewrite it here once again. Uh, 3 to the power x times 3 to the power y over... Uh, just after simplification, let's look at it. You can simplify them, so... 
Yes, uh, after simplification, just a second, after simplification, uh, g to the power y over two to the power x times two to the power minus y times two to the power, uh, sorry, three to the power minus y. Uh, if, if uh, be careful, you can't see such an uh, explanation when you look at the options. So uh, we'd, better, uh, we'd better change the uh, definition. Okay, how can we change? Uh, let's take this here. So uh, 3 to the power y times 3 to the power y over uh, 2 to the power x times 2 to the power minus y. In other words, we can write it like uh, 3 to the power 2y or rather than, or rather than, we can also write it like, we can also write it like uh, 3 to the power 2 to the power y. In other words, in other words, uh, it is also can be written as, uh, as, uh, 9 to the power y over 2 to the power x minus y. Still, we can't see such a definition when we look at the options, but, but we can also change it if we get it here. So 9 to the power y times 2 to the power minus x minus y. In other words, we can say that it is 9 to the power y times 2 to the power y minus x. That's why option D is true for this question.